Okay. For this lab, we need tin foil, cubettes, um, pipettes, uh, DIBP, the DPIP, still water, lens paper, uh, the phosphate buffer, buffer <laughs> the parafilm, para and a marker, and light. For cubet one, I'm putting one milliliter of the phosphate buffer into that. And then I have to put how much? One milliliter. Four milliliters of distilled water. And no DIP. Come over there chatting away and Dylan's filming. Wow. Okay. I'm dropping three drops of unboiled chloroplast into the cuvette one. Okay. Alright, so we're putting cuvette one into the spectrophotometer to set the zero for the other cuvettes that we're going to be testing. So before we put in the others, we always have to just put this one in via uh, zero. For three, I'm putting one milliliter of the buffer. Three drops of unboiled. One milliliter of the the bi. And then three milliliters of distilled water. <laughs> For cuvette four, I'm putting in one milliliter of the phosphate buffer, three milliliters of distilled water, and one milliliter of DPIP. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I'm putting three drops of the chloroplast into cubet two. We place the parafilm onto cubet two. So now we're adding three drops of unboiled chloroplast and we're going to cover with the parafilm. And this is our third cubet. And then you invert it to mix the solutions. And then we'll put it in for reading. Is it going? Or? Okay. Um, we unwrapped Cubet 2 from the tinfoil so that it can fit into the spectrophotometer. And this is our reading. Hold on. Okay, now you take it out and then you zero it. Yeah. So for cubet four, we're adding three drops of oiled chloroplast and then covering with parafilm. Okay, so we wrapped up cubet two again to keep the chloroplast and solution in the dark. So now you put in cubet number one, make sure it's equal to zero or to 100% transmittance. Then you can take it out, and then you can add cubet three, and this is just about looks like 19 percent. Is this for? So this is cubet four with the boiled chloroplast. So we're putting this in to test the initial transmittance percent, and it looks like about 17. So we'll record that. Take it out, put it underneath the light with the other cubets, and then in five minutes we'll test it again. So again, we're placing cubet one into the spectrophotometer, making sure it's at 100% transmittance, 
And now this is cubet four. We're placing it in, recording how long or how much transmittance it is. And it looks like it's about 17, 18% transmittance. So we'll record that. And now for the rest of the cubets, we're just going to continue the process of letting them sit under the light for five minutes, placing in number one to make sure it's zeroed at 100%, and then recording how much transmittance there is in each cubet. So now, after measuring, we go ahead and put them back into the light and then wait another five minutes. So before we measure anything, we always have to put one back in and make sure it's set to 100% transmittance because that's our zero. And now we can test cubet number three after five minutes and it looks like it's jumped up to about 37%.